Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Ravi Mahaji. Today we uh, we're going to uh, discuss about the uh, principle of paste control and uh, why the need of paste control. So in this lecture, we discuss uh, what is uh, paste explain. Uh, and what are the principle of pest control? Let us see one by one. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we have understand the four questions and their answer. What are the four principle of pest control? And second, what are the uh, three methods of pest control? <clears throat> and what are the principles of IPM? What is the IPM? What is the IPC? Why pest control are failed? In last, we will, we will discuss. Uh, This is the steps of the IPM process. Uh, first, we need waste prevention, action threshold, waste identification, and then waste control. We have to identify the waste, uh, what exact waste uh, are there, and what we do for that control. So, uh, content of today's lecture is that uh, principle of waste control. We will discuss three methods of waste control. What is paste? What is integrated paste management? What is IPC? Uh, types of paste control. Uh, there are two types of paste control basically. Like, no, one natural paste, uh, paste control and the second is applied paste, applied paste control. Again, in applied paste control, uh, they have uh, seven types. Uh, one, uh, one is the cultural control. Uh, then second is mechanical control, physical control, biological control, genetical control, regulatory control, chemical controls, etc. This figure says that integrated pest management means uh, uniformly we have to uh, control the pest. Uh, the first step is uh, inspection. We have to inspection in our farm, in our pest area. Uh, what is the pest uh, are there and what we do for their controlation? Uh, first, we, we inspect inspect in our uh, study area, in our farm, in our houses also, and then uh, identification of the pest, then monitoring on that pest, and then action we taken. In action, they have several types: applied, natural, are there, IPC, IPM, integrated pest management, integrated pest control, and finally evaluation. Uh, overall studies uh, undergoes included at the terms of evaluation. Uh, this ion says that pest control and pest management methods are there. This is other types of pest management. Uh, first is host plant resistance, cultural, biological, behavioral, mechanical, physical, microbial, and chemical. And so basically, uh, at the point of starting, we, we need <coughs> we need uh, to understand what is pest, exact what what pest is and what their families are there. Uh, so. Pets is anything that computes with human, domes, pigs, animals, or desirable plants for food or water. Pests are generally uh, grow on plant for their food, water, for their life changes, for their life control, for their life enhancement. Are there? This is general human tendency are also occurring in the pest. Uh, it injures uh, humans, animal, desirable plant structure or position. It also uh, spread diseases to humans, domestic animals, and wildlife animal, wildlife uh, animal also, and uh, our pets also. Uh, it is also uh, says that announced, announced humor are domestic animal. Some pests are uh, farmer of the uh, friends of farmer, some are not. These are the principal uh, principles of pest control. And the plant uh, provide 99% uh, of the food uh, to the world, 99% uh, of the people are uh, based for their food supply directly in the farm. <clears throat> Men and other living organisms are dependent on the plants for food. I uh, mean that uh, plant provide 99% of the food to the world. So uh, this terms and uh, we say that uh, plant uh, protection is very necessary from the pest because we don't uh, because. If we don't uh, protect the plant, then food supply chain is break to the humans and some, uh, further mankind. 
the control of various space is necessary and several steps must be taken prior to the selection of the motor control. This control are generally achieved either by natural controls or control, uh, controls developed by the mass. In this area, they, they have applied control. The pest control methods are classified into main types. First is the natural control. These controls are these natural controls are done by the nature. Uh, some climatic change, some dramatic change, some <coughs> atmospheric change are there. And second is the applied control. Applied control is uh, developed by the man. In that, uh, they have cultural, mechanical, chemical, etc. Let us see one by one. <coughs> this is again the types of pest control. Natural control, it is a collective action of environment factors like physical, biotic, that maintain no paste population within certain upper and lower limits over a period. <clears throat> the important factor of natural control is that uh, this is a uh, climatological factors, climatological changes, heavy raining, heavy water season, or heavy winter, heavy summer season, or sunshine, pools, availability of lighting, spread by wind, natural enemies, available for food and evaluative pressure. Means natural controls are Con, uh, are the types of pest control which is controlled by the nature. And second is applied control. These include whole range of practices developed or modified by man. Uh, we say also this is artificial type of uh, control in applied control. That become necessary when natural control factors are failed to control the pest. The different methods under applied control are cultural control, physical control, biological, genetically, mechanical, chemical, etc uh, let us see one by one cultural control in cultural control <clears throat> the old farming of cultivation practices can be employed such that the environment becomes less suitable or unsuitable for production and growth of certain pests for example tillage polluting adopting the time of planting and harvesting of crops water management, crop rotation, mix crop cultivation, etc. In this, uh, we, we see in, in this speaker, they have flower plant also, they have tulsi plant also, they have uh, lychee uh, plant also, chili plant also. Uh, here is the jawar, here is the some uh, grain snakes. Uh, means some uh, some paste are the prints of jawar, but some are the enemies of the uh, other grains, other plants. Means cultural control means uh, uh, this is uh, controlled by the cultural means uh, as per uh, our backward to forward process is there cultural control are the controls which is uh, change the culture of the uh, paste that's why cultural changes then paste are being directly killed so uh, enemy enemy paste are directly killed with the help of their uh, their other other enemies also these are the mechanical control. In mechanical control, uh, these are the manual methods old collecting and destroying certain waste, such as insects, rats, weeds. In general practices, we in our houses, they have some uh, equipments like that. These equipments uh, provide some mechanical sounds and due to hearing of that mechanical sound, rats are controlled uh, in house also or in farm also. These methods are common in areas where labor is cheap and abundant. Uh, some uh, labor are uh, avoid uh, to control of the rat. Uh, in this case, we applied uh, mechanical control. Uh, due to mechanical vibration, rats and other insect pests are uh, go through uh, directly control from the houses and farms also. This use of mechanical uh, imperialism is implements uh, is increasing. For example, cats, cages, traps, lights, traps pheromone traps, wire traps, fences trap, nest, etc. These are the physical control. These improve mechanical removal and distortion of paste using paste using physical factor. So, such as cold heat, humidity, energy sound. Uh, in this figure, uh, the paste, here is the insect paste, and they target on the uh, our agricultural resource. Uh, but Human invention are there. Human invention are controlled to to break their chain to attack up the agricultural crop. So this is the physical control. Uh, farmers and humans uh, doing some physical invention are there to control that insect pest. These methods are uh, known as.
physical controls so biological control in, in an under under distributed ecosystem the pests are greatly controlled by their enemies in disturbed ecosystem various pests can be controlled by releasing more predator parasites parasite insect fungi the commercially available species under biocontrol include bacillus thermogenids bt nuclear poly <coughs> polyadenovirus viruses <coughs> trichoderma vitro waves sound waves etc these are the figures of the biological control and these are the airborne pests are there uh, uh, biological factor are uh, very important to con uh, control this pest <coughs> so uh, they develop some biological action on the plant and the whole plant uh, whole plant uh, become the biological toxic for the pest this is known as biological control natural enemies of the herbivores pollinators and carnivores herbivores are there uh, these uh, these are the whole figure are says that how biological control in the farm are done here is the genetic control means the genes of the plant are changed some plants have some specific insect and due to this specific insects uh, our uh, crop yield is very low and that's why we have to change our gene uh, in the uh, we have to change plant gene uh, due to due to changing in plant gene uh, we do the genetical control uh, this is very uh, cheap and trained person are requiring this uh, genetic control in which the plant can be modified genetically to increase their resistance toward the pest when i tell at uh, uh, pest attacks are also controlled uh, due to genetically controlled plant in which the pests are subjected to alternation in the genetic code that controls in autocytal <coughs> hence control in this method both male and female insects are pests are sterilized genetically this is the regulatory control in this method the pest attack due to the outbreak because of the human activities can be controlled uh, <coughs> with the help of uh, regular checking and inspection are there <coughs> movement transfer community release uh, special equipments are there to control this regulatory control before and after uh, transfer movement the vigorous checking involve the fumigation or reported application of the pesticides etc this uh, this figure says that how we can control uh, regulatory control uh, if <coughs> in regular mode arabicides and uh, <coughs> tomatoes are there uh, so, some uh, regulation of the tomatoes are not on the <coughs> other crop <coughs> this way in last slide we see in this method the pest attack due to the outbreak because of the human activities can be controlled so here is the human activity uh, plays main role uh, to successful controlation of the regular pest control. Uh, this is the well-known uh, types of chemical control. The use of pesticide has become necessary and accepted practices in the agriculture public health. Chemical control, we directly, uh, some cake are provided in market to control the diet. We, we kept uh, that cake in our houses on our farm also. This is the chemically contained uh, cake and they are due to eating that cake, uh, cake rats are directly killed or directly controlled. The use of pesticide has become necessary and acceptable, accepted practices in the agriculture public health. Forestry and animal husbandry, the waste controlled by the uh, chemicals called pesticide is a basic. Here we we know the two basic terms, what is paste and what is pesticide are there. Tool and will be con continued for <coughs> basic tools and will be continued for the efficient paste management. Uh, the pesticides uh, provide rapid, effective economical mean of control of various paste. However, the problem associated with their uses are increased and in future development of new pesticide is alarming with the chemical control. This is well known, well acceptable uh, methods of control. Uh, in chemical control, they have some <coughs> uh, need, need to follow uh, items, appropriate equipment, well-trained person, working nozzles are there. Means uh, nozzles have, uh, nozzles are uh, uh, two to uh, three meter from the uh, spreaders, clean water, uniform spraying. These are the some the practices we have to follow for the chemical control because some chemical are toxic to human also uh, due to uh, reduce their toxicity we have to <coughs> some pp plant uh, 
people protecting equipment plant protecting equipment also working <coughs> working nozzles uniform spraying and uniform sanitizations are there <coughs> so in next uh, what is integrated pest management integrated pest control also the ipc involves application of various approach sets <coughs> control methods with the aim of either to reducing or a pest or working keeping it on it at or below a level of economically acceptable damages the ipc does not necessarily include chemical control of your chemical control involving the uses of pesticides in the most effective methods this is all about the ipc integrated pest management uh, after uh, completion of the ipc we we'll have to, uh, we move to the integrated pest management uniform pest management and there integrated pest management is the combining of appropriate pest control tactics into a single plan strategy to reduce pest and their damages to an acceptable level using many different topics to control a pest problem tend to cause cause the least distribution to <coughs> distribution to living organism or plant and non living surrounding at their treatment site so relying re, relying only pesticide for pest control can cause pest to develop resistance to pesticides so uh, if we continue uh, apply chemical control chemical control so one day uh, some pest have resistance to hit the chemicals also so that's why we need other method like cultural method genetical method are there can cause outbreak of the other pest and can harm the surfaces and non target organism also if our target is only crop then we have to follow the only one method only one method to apply the pest then uh, pest have some in, uh, some uh, resistance power also some they have increased their immunity power and uh, this is uh, one of the outbreak to cause some uh, to cause to kill some non or targeted organism also with the types of pest it is of pesticide as the only tactic will achieve very poor control uh, but uh, but we have used genetical control uh, mechanical control uh, natural control also and the ipm concepts has recently become a topic of prominent interest and study among scientists become because of widespread concern for environment population pollution due to pesticides the word integrate integrated means the bringing together of individual control method into combining operation that takes due to the area of sound healthy environment this is the exact meaning of the integrated pest management i will say again the word integrate means the bringing together of individual control method into combining <coughs> combine operation that takes due to due to our of sound healthy environment this term integrate also implies that the combining control operation should be uh, compatible with the complex harm producing units and their social knowledge custom physical equipments are there and economical financial resources are also uh, some farmers have uh, some less economic <coughs> their condition the that's why we have to use some uh, natural control also so the ipm approaches gives first preference to pollution free environment and uh, and then the control aids this is the benefits and main advantage of the integrated waste management so how, how can we solve the problem of the pest identify the pest first uh, we do some inspection uh, some observation in our farm in our pest area in our houses also then uh, determine your pest control goals Uh, so what kind of pest are there in our farm and what kind of pest control are need to their uh, killing and their controlation <coughs> so knowledge what no no what control tactics are available uh, in current scenario then evaluate the benefits and risks of the each tactic or combination of tactics then next it choose strategy what will be the most effective and what will cause the least harm to people and environment this is the main fact choose the well strategy to control the pest what is the helpful for the environment helpful for the other non target species and very effective for the pest use uh, use each tactic in the strategy correctly 
observe local state and federal regulation that apply to the situation uh, in some area they have uh, banned chemical also uh, we need to know that what chemical are banned in our area and what we provide as from local market and federal regulation this is the main fact after uh, after controlization of all terms after controlization of applying of all pest control methods applying of uh, national control ipr ipc <coughs> Uh, chemical control, mechanical control, or type of control when we do, but in some cases the pest control are failed. So how they are failed? Then this slide will explain. Uh, pesticide fail to control some pest because the pests are resistant to the pesticides. Uh, we we have to follow this uh, only one uh, only one method to control the pest. Then pesticide uh, then pest have uh, consumed uh, very hazardous toxic uh, pesticide and they have the increased immunity power against the pesticides <clears throat> then consider the when planning the pest control programming that really on <clears throat> the use of pesticide really does not pesticide kill at all the target pest each time a pesticide is used but it is selectively kill the most susceptible pest some pests avoid their pesticide other widespread its effects pests that are not destroyed may pass along to their offspring the <coughs> trait that allowed them to survive means uh, we we do not have to only one uh, method we have apply uh, several methods of the uh, controlation of the pest at a time when one pesticide is used repeatedly in the same place this this is what what we explain when one pesticide is used repeatedly in the same place against the same pest then surviving pest population may be more resistant to the pesticide than original population was. This is the main uh, fact why pest control are failed. I will say again, when one pesticide is used repeatedly in the same place, again the same pest, same place, again the same place, one pesticide used, then, <coughs> then resistant to the pesticide that original population was, <coughs> of the pest control was not done. The opportunity of the resistance is greater when pesticide is used over a wide geographic area or when a pesticide is applied repeatedly to rather than small area <coughs> where pest population are isolated. A pesticide that leaves a residue that gradually losses its effectiveness over time will help select out resistance. Rotating pesticides may help reduce the development of the pest resistance. Mean uh, we have not uh, spread only one pesticide in one place and in one form. Uh, we have to use repeated type of pesticide in same places. This is our composite conclu site. <coughs> what is IPM? What is IPM tool includes? What they have preventive method, kappa, corrective and preventive action are there? What we prevent? What the reaction, monitoring, <coughs> identification, evaluate, identification, evaluate, prevent, action, and monitor. These are the uh, all about the IPM. Where can we practice IPM in our buildings, homes, farms, manage natural ecosystems? Uh, some pests are also harmful to uh, natural ecosystem. Uh, we may apply for that, for the same. <coughs> this is our next lecture topic, uh, toxicity. Uh, we just uh, concluding that after conclusion, uh, just uh, a background of the next lecture is that uh, toxicity of pesticide, it is the property of substance that causes adverse effect in an organism. In next lecture, we have discussed uh, very deeply. Uh, this is a hazardous, acute and current toxicity we will discuss in next lecture. So, uh, all, uh, so please uh, see the full video carefully. You may read description box also. Uh, I provide some notes in description bo uh, box as it is uh, uh, my typing also. So, uh, hope you understand the topic. <clears throat> After understanding, this is the request. <laughs> and if you don't understand, then please comment, uh, comment me. I will <clears throat> fulfill your all problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.